Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about annotation and advanced annotation inside AutoCAD Capture and AutoCAD Capture CIS. So traditionally, um, you can either have your components annotated automatically when you place them. Um, you would normally set an, uh, a preference, so options, preferences, miscellaneous tab, there's an automatically reference place parts. So every time you place a part, it would then C1, C2, C3, C4. There is also an annotate command, so we can select the design name in the project window and then go to tools and annotate. Um, and this is kind of a box standard annotation command, incremental, which will just do start at the beginning and, and work from top left to bottom right, all the way through all the pages. It's an unconditional, which will kind of go along and just annotate any gaps that are left. You can reset everything back to question mark, etc. There's also an, an advanced annotation, which gives you a bit more control over the annotation um, from a, a hierarchical block or a property point of view. So if we click on the advanced annotation option here, we've got two options here. We've got design hierarchy where we choose the hierarchical level. So we could choose to have a, a, a certain page in a hierarchy annotated differently, or I can use a property information here. So for example, um, let's just say I've got a room property. Um, we'll just load the room property. This then shows me that I've effectively got um, five locations, five rooms in the design. So I could select channel one and say, um, okay, what, what have I got in, in the channel one from an annotation point of view? If I use the autofill prefix, this will show me that I've effectively got four capacitors, a, a J, one connector, three, three inductors, two resistors, and three IC. So I could then put start and end goals for each room as I'm going along, and that would allow me to kind of control the annotation from a room point of view. I'm just going to do one example here. I'm going to use um, a design level hierarchy. So we're going to give a, a top level design based on an IC. Uh, so we'll use the U as the prefix. Um, so I'm going to select the design and then I'm just going to say, I'm just going to manually add a row. I'm going to give the row here U for, for the IC. I've got 54 ICs in this, in this design. Um, so I'm going to say my typical start value, let's just start at, um, let's start at 200 and we'll go on to 300, okay? So that's my, my default annotation across the whole page. We'll just apply that to give that as a default option. We'll then look at maybe for my output page here, so the DAMP one, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna say, anything in this location, I want to add um, something different. So I'm gonna, let's just delete this row here. I'm gonna add a row here. We're gonna call it um, for you again. In this scenario, I'm gonna say, let's go for 400 to say 410. I've only got three ICs, but it gives me 10 to cover that. Um, and we'll apply that one here. And then for output two, effectively what I'm gonna do here, um, we'll just uh, delete this row. So for output two, I'm gonna add a row here. For you, I'm gonna say starting at 800 to, to 810. So that means in general across the whole design, I'm gonna use 200 everywhere apart from these two blocks, DAMP1 and DAMP2, where I'm going to use effectively um, on DAMP1, I'm going to use 400 to 410, and DAMP2, I'm going to use 800 to 810. Um, so I'll leave all these defaults. These actions are kind of the default, unconditional, incremental, etc. I want the type of, I've got any um, additional property strings to, to group components together, and if I want to preserve reference designators. Um, so we'll then just annotate the design. Oh, sorry. What we need to do is actually select which we want to annotate. So I'm going to select the, the top level from the design, go and annotate everything, um, and we'll click on annotate. This then annotates the design. So we'll just zoom in here. You can see I've got uh, 227, 228, 229. So that's using the 200s. Let's go to the top level maybe. Have we got any ICs on here? I haven't. So let's maybe go to one of the other pages. The high speed memory. So these are using 218, 219. So that's following my, my 200 naming convention. We'll go to one of the output pages, DAMP1. So this is using 400, 401, 402. And if we look at DAMP2, this is using 800, 801, 802. So that just gives you a small limit, you know, a small portion of what the annotation command can offer you. Um, gives you a lot more control over the annotation on a page by page, hierarchical by hierarchical basis.